Hello, I haven't talked about cameras in a while, but um, I thought I really wanted to talk about this one. Um, it is not mine, it is one we have here at the library that someone donated last year. This is a Polaroid um, land camera. It, uh, I believe it's from the early 60s. It is heavy. This thing is probably about three plus pounds. Um, and it looks like to take a picture with it would be a complete process. You'd have to get it down. Um, so the person that donated this, it came in like a really beat up case. It came with this little, this little manual, the original manual. Um, all in the tacky Technicolor. And then there's the the actual how to take the picture, pull the tab, time it, the flash. This one took, took flashes and it has one in there, but this is the, the bulbs you'll get, the AG-1B. There were 12 bulbs bulbs in this and you would, um, I think they'd only last once. They'd make this pop and that would be it. Pretty wasteful. Um, basically it's talking about light. And this one is the uh, Polaroid uh, J66 land camera. So that's the, the model. It has a, this leather strap here. Um, it's in the shape of like a vest, an early vest uh, camera, but you can't stick this in a pocket. It does have a tripod mount on the bottom. And this one came with a bunch of uh, corrosion from there's an, there was an internal battery located in here and it's just very crusty and uh, corrosive um, in there. I tried to clean it out as best as I could, um, but I didn't realize this model, I, it, I guess the internal battery would, I don't know how it would charge, whether the, you know, I know the new Polaroids, they have like a mini battery built in to their, to make it, you know, push out some stuff. But this one, let's, let's look at it. So here's the viewfinder, which pops up. It's beautiful. I love that little little square in there um, to help you line things up. It's got uh, the numbers here, one, and then uh, two is over here, and then three. So the white knob is number two, which is hidden. I haven't extended the, uh, the accordion. Three, you'd switch it snap it either way and then four is how you would pull out the film there um, close the cutter bar and tear off the film so this is the cutter bar there's it's uh, maybe a slight blade to it and there is a little there's an opening here here's the reminders there's the serial number right there aj870343 this was made in Cambridge, Massachusetts, made in the USA, patents, close-ups, closer than six feet, extend front flap to close-up, and I'll show that. Light and darken control, low light, if red needle is just entering black area, shutter speed is slow, hold extra steady. So I believe that battery was for the light meter, and the light meter is located right there. But since, and it does wiggle, uh, but there's no battery, so it's not uh, going to work for me at all. Here's the shutter button, but you got to. Um, oops. Let's pull this out. So, oh, it's heavy and awkward. So this one right there has an uh, adapter on it, so you just pop it off. There's the the light meter. Uh, where the light would go in. Here's the one for, this is normal daylight settings. This is for color film. Uh, it says flash. I think you would just use this with flash. There may have been multiple ones that came with this or maybe just the one, um, but it gives you some other settings on here for the feet and then lighten and darken. There's the normal daylight mode in here. Lighten, neutral, darken. Um, and you would turn uh, this, essentially it's aperture control. And of course, this would help you with the um, the light meter. I'll take that off, and I will pull this out. Now, 
the first one is for uh, landscape. So when you pull the bellows out, landscape is here. It has these cross uh, crossbars. And then if you, there's a button underneath that you would pinch to extend it even more, and that would be for portraits. You can see here, there's a landscape and portrait mode, the two modes, and the meter is right there as well. So in order to, um, one, two, there's a two on the little lever here. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four. Pull out the film and it cuts it. And that's how you would take it. And I guess the film would pop out. I'm not sure why this, uh... oh, additional details are inside this door, which may be opened at any time, except when the picture is developing. Oh. Or, yeah, Polaroids would, you know, this is an instant camera, so they would develop a little bit. Um, but yeah, there's the bellows. And to close it, you just push these down, snaps, and you would close this. Let's look inside the camera. Um, so, there's a lever here, which opens up the big camera. And there's where you would load the film. I guess it was a roll. I'm not familiar with um, the, this type of film, to be honest. There's the roll. There's the bellows. There's the, the plate. Um, bellows are nice and folded. There is a, um, a screen to kind of block it. It actually probably needs to be clean. It's just plastic. Nothing really moves in here. The bellows will extend out. This plate is kind of heavy. It's got that metal roller on there. It does have some, some uh, rust here. Um, and then you'd close it. You gotta hold it tight and then push that little silver. Push the silver lever up so it doesn't come out. Now the corrosion, I will pull this out was located in here, and you, I don't know if you can see it, but there's these batteries here. Maybe you can replace them. I am not sure. I can't figure out how to get inside of it, but yeah, that's where the corrosion um, happened. And I've, it's flakes out. You can see it's flaked out on the table. Um, not, uh, not a pretty thing to see. Such a nice camera. Um, Again, I don't think you can buy film for these anymore, and I don't think with the battery, it's, you know, with the light meter, it will take pictures. And there's the little dial you can see. See the aperture? So here we have 10 feet, 7 feet, 5 feet, 3 feet, and that would be with flash. And this corresponds up here with uh, light and dark. So if it's dark, you want that aperture really tiny. If it's light, you want to open that wide. There, lighten. There's neutral. Darken. And the, the, it's weird, if you look, look at the aperture. It's round here, and then it kind of goes into this like onion shape. And then it completely, almost completely disappears with two little fins sticking out there. But um, the shutter still seems to work, but yeah. Um, it did come with one more thing that I thought was interesting. And that was the, uh, this card. So this, um, would, I guess, would have been on the back of one of the um, pictures. This is the size of the picture it would take. It says, peel the brown paper back and fold along the dotted lines, um, thus partially exposing the, adhes the adhesive surface. Align the picture carefully along the edge. Press there's perfect alignment. Now press picture down firmly against the right edge adhesive brown paper by uh, pulling down on tab A in the drawing. There's a tab there. 
press picture to mount working along two edges right to left. And this is firm cardstock. So that came with it. But anyway, just a simple video showing this camera. Polaroid Land Camera J66 uh, with its little adapter. Pretty nice, uh, collectible American camera. Anyway, thanks for watching.